G'day guys, Lemon Eating Cow here, and today I am back with another Dissidia Final Fantasy NT guide. And this time I'm going to be showing you a very easy and quick method to level up your offline rank, your player level, also your AI level, your story level, and on top of this you'll also be getting a lot of those treasure tokens, story tokens, and a lot of gill as well. So this is pretty much encompasses everything in the offline battle, and it's uh, really quick and effective. And the best thing about this method is that it is incredibly easy and anybody can do it. So what you're going to do is go over to gauntlet mode and then we're going to come down to core battles. So once you come into the character select, you're going to want to choose Stola or Yustola from Final Fantasy XIV. Now I haven't found any other character that's quite as effective as her, but if you guys find something that works even better, then leave it down in the comment section below. But you just want to choose her as your main character, and then you can choose anyone for your two other characters. It's a good idea here to choose two partners that you actually want to play the full game with, as they will be getting levels and experience as well. So you can see here we're starting off as the bronze ranks, and what we're going to do is go into that first core battle. It doesn't matter what opponent you choose, and in fact you should be choosing the highest ranked opponent you can each and every time. So once you get into battle, all you're going to have to do is go over to the enemy's crystal, and you can target this by holding L2 and once you've targeted it all you have to do is stay out of the force field uh, you don't have to stay too far back from it as long as your attacks are in range and then it's just a matter of pretty much mashing circle I find the most effective move to use here is to jump in the air and hold left on the analog stick and press circle and she'll kind of do a tracking holy orb but also just pressing circle in the air is pretty good and it keeps you away from most people trying to attack you but honestly Pretty much the AI will pretty much ignore you completely for the whole match. In fact, I think the very hardest point for you is this very first run that you're going to do because your AI is going to be pretty dumb and it's not going to hold the attention of the computer for very long. But as long as you can get through those first six matches, uh, it's really going to pay off. So as long as you can sit here and spam on the crystal, it should be over pretty quickly. Note, if you don't know much about this mode, you can only do damage to that crystal when the enemies aren't in the actual sphere. So what you want them to be doing is going off and chasing your AI partners. So with the first battle down, all you're going to have to do now is complete those six battles, and each time that you get a higher level opponent, they'll always be at the top. So always take on that higher level opponent. And by doing this, by my second run, I was actually taking on the Nightmare and the Chaos opponent. The first time I finished it, I managed to go all the way from Bronze rank up to Gold. So that is absolutely crazy. Although I will say I did get the full Japanese release and I did all this grinding myself. I got all the way up to uh, Platinum, I think, on my characters and it took me the better part of a day to get there. But with this method, I was actually able to get to Adamant, which is higher than Platinum, within a few hours. So I believe they've reduced the amount of experience you need to get between levels on this or ranks in this. So it's going to be a very fast process. The good thing about this method too is that you will be getting those story tokens, which can take a long time to unlock. So this is going to make that method a bit faster for people that just want to concentrate on the story mode. As well as this, you're going to be getting story levels as well. And the higher your story level, the more damage and more buffs you get in the actual story mode. So again, it's going to make that story mode easier. On top of that, you'll also be leveling your AI partners as well, and that's really going to help in a lot of these story battles. Generally, your AI will remain one rank below you, so every time you rank up, your computer will follow you pretty much one rank behind, so it really takes even more grinding out of it. So there you go guys, a very easy method to level up all of your levels and get gill and those treasure tokens as well. If you did like this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you got any comments or suggestions or you want to call me a cheating scrub, then you can leave that down in the comment section below. But just remember, I have already done a full grind on the Japanese version, so I'm in no mood to do it again. And if you haven't subscribed already, then please do so. This has been Lemon Eating Cow. Um, me.